Greetings Commanders, Stealth Boy here. Today, we're going to tackle the toughest challenges Elite Dangerous Oddity has to offer. We will be the silent maestros of stealth and infiltration, the elusive rogues of the underworld, and together, we'll unlock the engineer, Terra Velasquez, with ease on our journey to mastering heists. Before we get started, I'd like to take a moment to say something to all of my viewers. I started this channel only a short time ago because I enjoyed Elite Dangerous Odyssey and wanted to share the things that I've learned with others, but I wasn't prepared at all for the overwhelmingly positive response that I've had. The comments you've left have blown me away with the kindness and support, and I wanted to thank everyone who watches my videos, in particular, all those who have liked, commented, and subscribed to my channel. You're all stars. If you do like what you see and find it useful, please do continue to let me know in the comments. Please do keep on liking and if you want to see more please subscribe it'll massively help my channel grow and reach a wider viewership from my heart thank you so much all of you for those of you who are new to this channel welcome if you'd like to learn everything you need to know about stealth and infiltration in odyssey please do watch my two guides the definitive guide to stealth which walks you through all the things you need to know how to remain undetected and the definitive guide to infiltration which expands upon that guide to go into detail on the steps you can take to infiltrate any settlement. There's a link for these two videos in the description below if you want to watch them later. Odyssey's highest missions take on a wide variety of challenges and demand skill and practice to get right. Knowing how they work beforehand will make the journey a lot smoother. Heist and theft missions can appear in three different forms, standard, covert and non-violent. Terra Velasquez, one of the nine engineers in Odyssey who will upgrade your equipment for you, requires that you successfully complete six covert heist missions and six covert theft missions. So this guide will focus on the covert variant. If you can master these, then the other two variants become much easier. I'll quickly cover the difference between the three variants. The standard heist or theft missions require that you find and take an item and bring it back alive. And what you do to achieve that goal is entirely up to you. Non-violent versions require that you do this without critically injuring any NPC. Covert missions require that you achieve the goal without the alarms being raised. We're going to master the covert heist mission type so that we can do it without being detected at all, but most importantly, so the alarms are not raised. If it all sounds a bit complicated right now, don't worry. It'll all make sense by the end of this guide. The first step is to take a covert heist or covert theft mission. Make sure it's the covert type, and you can see this in its title here. The differences between heist and theft missions are subtle, but thefts do tend to be a little easier than heists, so we'll only cover heists in this guide, and I'll refer to them as such going forward. Once you've got the mission, head to the destination and disembark from your ship. I recommend using the Maverick suit because you may require the art cutter in some cases, although it's not strictly essential. As I always recommend, the first part of infiltrating a base is to understand its layout. If you're unfamiliar with the settlement type, then this is a good time to explore it. Take note of where the main buildings are located, such as the power center and command center. Note that some bases do not have a command center, and we'll cover that shortly. The steps we will need to take in brief are 1. Clone the profile of a worker to get access level 2 or 3. 2. Find the disable alarms panel and disable the alarms. 3. Find the location of our target. And 4. Get the item and escape. To find a suitable worker and clone their profile, I recommend the following. 1. If there is a command center, try to see if there are windows on a level that you can see through and spot a level 3 worker inside. 2. If there's no command center, try the same in the power center. 3. Most of the time there aren't windows looking into the power center, so the next step is to find an AGRI, I-N-D, R-E-S or E-X-T building, as shown in the images here. These will often have a window to look through and spot a level 2 worker. 4. If none of these work for you, then you can often find a skylight windows on the roof of the STO building and a clone a level 2 worker. 5. As a last resort, find any level 1 worker and clone their profile to gain access to a level 1 building and then find a level 2 worker there. Level 2 access is usually enough to complete all covert heists, so don't stress over getting level 3 access unless the alarms panel is in a level 3 area. 
Remember, you can also use your arc cutter to cut through to a level three area in some cases. You only need level one to disable the alarms and level two to open the mission target container. Once you've got level two or higher, go find a terminal in a safe location. By safe, I mean where you won't get disturbed by a patrolling guard. If the guards get too close, they will scan you. And if they do this, then they'll discover your illegally cloned profile and attack you. Remember, if the worst happens and they do spot you, discard the stolen profile immediately. It's not worth losing the mission over this. And you can even sometimes clone the ID of the guard after they have scanned you. The best place to find a safe terminal is just inside the building you've gained access to. It's rare that guards will patrol here, but do be careful either way. At the terminal, you are looking for two things. One, the disable alarms panel. Two, the location of the item you need to steal. If you've done a heist at this settlement already, you may be familiar with these locations, and so you can skip this part. I always recommend at least tagging the location of the item you're stealing, because this can change from mission to mission. Now, we've got access, and we know where the disable alarms panel is. For covert heist, this step is 100% essential. If you skip this part, the mission will fail as soon as you try to take the item because it's always set to trigger the alarm. This is the main difference between heist and thefts. Thefts tend to be items you can take without needing to disable alarms, but disabling alarms is best practice because if you do get caught, then no alarm can be raised, meaning you technically cannot fail the mission unless you die. So go to the alarms panel. Every settlement is different. And so the location of the alarms panels can sometimes be easy to reach and sometimes extremely challenging. For tips on how to avoid detection, refer to everything you've learned about stealth and infiltration. I've never come across a scenario that was impossible if patient and taken care. Don't rush this part. And if you get spotted in a restricted area, don't panic. Always, always run to the alarms panel and disable the alarms, even if you get seen doing it. This will mean that you won't fail the mission. As seen here, I got spotted, but still ran to disable the alarm and even managed to get back out quickly enough that the NPC didn't catch me. Even if they do go red, just run away and wait for them to calm down. As no alarms can be raised, you should be able to continue with your mission. Now we have to get to the target of our heist. In all cases, this will be some form of container and they look like these examples. Remember to tag the target at the terminal if you haven't already and remember that any restricted areas will require that you not be seen. So crouch and stay out of sight as you pass through these areas. Sometimes the mission target is near to the entrance. Sometimes it's buried deep behind more than one restricted area. Sometimes it's even situated inside a restricted area. This last type is the most difficult and we'll cover this in this guide. It is not illegal to activate this container panel. If an NPC is looking right at you, feel free to just activate it. If it's in a restricted area, you must do this without being seen or heard. So crouch and get to the container fast. It seems to be difficult to activate these in the crouch position. So you will need to stand up quickly to activate it. So long as no NPCs are looking in your direction and you don't move when stood up, you should be fine. The container takes exactly three minutes to open. If in a restricted area, I recommend leaving the room as quickly as you can and watch from a safe spot like this. It is also not illegal to take the item even if an NPC is looking at you. So if the container is not in a restricted area, you're pretty much done at this point. Simply wait three minutes and then take the item as soon as you can, like this. Then leave the settlement, taking care not to get scanned by the guards and taking care not to be seen in any restricted areas. As you've disabled the alarms, even if you do get caught, then you always have the option to turn on your shields, remember that part, and just run like the wind. You may get a minor fine, but you'll still complete the mission. If the container is in a restricted area, then taking the item without getting caught trespassing is more of a challenge. As soon as the container is open, any nearby worker will attempt to walk across and close it back up again. If they do this, the three minutes you waited will be wasted. You can try again, but we want to avoid this as much as possible. This part comes down to luck. Although it is possible to complete this every time, and I've got two big tips for this scenario. One, if there are two ways into the restricted room, and they usually are, then choose the doorway which allows you to enter in a way that follows the NPC as they walk past the target like this. This gives you a few more precious seconds of a window to get in and out. Two, try not to get spotted at all in any restricted area up to this point. You actually have one get out of jail free card with restricted areas. By this, I mean that you can get spotted by a worker in one of these rooms. And so long as you get back out quickly enough, they won't attack you. So in the worst cases, you can use this to run in openly, grab the item and run back out. 
you may be uh, get detected, but they'll let you off with a warning. This is, in my opinion, entirely acceptable as a master of heists. That concludes the guide for today. In future guides, I'll play through some of the more challenging heists in more detail, playing through each step-by-step -step guide for each. If you're struggling with a particular heist and would like me to cover this in a video, please make a note of the location, including the star system and the settlement name, and leave a comment below. I'll be happy to make a video to cover any location you like. Thanks for watching. Stay stealthy, Commanders.